What's going on, Red Militia? My name is Jasper, and I'm here with Sensei, and we're back doing the second week of Q&As here on Face Fitness, so let's get right into the questions. The first question comes from the username, at I am Kieran, and Kieran asks, best way to gain muscle for somebody who is skinny with a fast metabolism? I would say eat a lot, eat about, uh, you have to eat more than you burn a day, basically, and work out really hard and consistent, and uh, you will get there. From at X Roven, will you make a phase fitness team with some RC and montages? Um, no, not necessarily a team that you can join, but we are really going to be open to um, you know getting collabing with different people and making some pretty sick videos. From at Tim uh, underscore uh, Crockman, at Face Sensei, how did you get to know uh, Jasper Fitness and got him into this project? Question mark. Well, um, on my personal channel, I did like a recruitment. Um, for like five people I wanted to connect with and help them work personally, you know, getting them started to working out, exercising. And then he sent me a video saying that he, you know, has some uh, background in fitness. He's really, um, he sent an email to um, Tommy a while ago and really wanted to help and he was eager to help me. And, um, you know, I talked to him more, we got talking and I really liked, you know, his personality and his drive and where he was and um, he's here now. Yes, sir. All right, next question comes from username I switch. What age should I use protein shakes, etc., and is it effective going jogging in the morning with an empty stomach? Um, yes, I think it's effective when you go jogging in the morning uh, on an empty stomach, not so sure, but I guess it's good uh, because your body will burn fat. Cardio in the morning is always good. Um, when it comes to jogging in the morning, um, jogging is a great, it's a great way of cardio, um, uh, you know, burning fat and getting building your cardiovascular. However, um, on an empty stomach, it depends how far or how fast you're gonna run. Um, so you just gotta like, you know, plan that out, but um, you don't need too much food in you. Next question from at A Frost. At Jasper, what's your favorite song to get you motivated? I'll answer this first and then I'll let you go. Yeah. The reason I wanna answer this question is because it's not about favorite song, but I think, um, I don't really have a favorite song, but sometimes it's different music if you pumped up. But I think it's important to know that it's very, 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 very important for you to use resources. And I think music is one of the best things to do to keep you motivated. So whatever it is for you, oh, yeah. um, I think that's great. But I personally don't have a favorite song. I think that's, you know, something from movies or something. I, I really don't know anything that, that comes on. What's yours? Uh, I really, I agree 100%. But I, uh, if I have to pick one song, can be touched by Ro uh, Ray Jones. Can be touched, can be touched, can be touched. Oh, uh, yes, <laughs> yes. Yeehaw. From at 2K and Music at Phase Fitness, uh, what's the best plan to getting your cardio up quickly? Um, the best cardio workout, the most effective one, is jogging. Um, but for long periods of time, it is the um, high impact, so it's not good for your knees. Depending on if you have any issues, obviously you can do it. Um, but up there, besides playing, um, besides doing jogging, uh, swimming is very good cardio. Um, but it's hard to get a sweat. So like basketball, soccer, any type of sports, you're going to be running a lot um just putting that pressure on your heart is Absolutely. also yeah. um uh, very very good and martial arts martial arts is a great cardio workout i put it right up there with jogging okay. next question comes from sof clan one what's the best non-expressive food that you can eat to help lose weight um there's no food that can help you lose weight it's only if you don't eat a certain food that can help you lose weight so stay away from certain foods that can help you lose weight uh yes the most non-expensive foods are usually the ones that um help you gain weight so I would definitely focus your research more on exactly what he said. Foods uh, not to eat. X at Xim, Ximmer. Is it possible to lose 70 pounds in five months? If you want to cut off your arms and legs. Yo, come in. I guess. You want me to just come back in a little bit? Just come in and say what's up real quick. So you can, no, no, here, 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 in the camera. Oh, shit. So we can throw it in there. It's and by the way, people are asking questions. He is going to be doing it. He's here now. <clears throat> We're going to be recording a fitness video. And then uh, maybe next week you can be in the Q&A. Sounds good to me. All right, brother. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. All right, I'll see you a little bit. All right. Next question from Ximmer, and he asks, is it possible to lose 70 pounds in five months? I would say yes, uh, but you have to cut, cut off your arm and legs. No, seriously, uh, it is possible, but it's really hard, and it uh, you need to be really, really determined. Very determined. It's possible, though. Definitely possible. Next question from... LQ Vision at Face Fitness. Um, how do you uh, stay positive in the most depressing times? When it comes to being depressed or in a negative state, listen, what you focus on is what you feel. So if you're focusing on the negative thing in that moment, you're obviously going to feel it. Now, um, it's easier said than done, but if you're in those moments and you find yourself stuck, you have to really try to see or find other things. Maybe put yourself around more positive people 
or go back to things that you know made you laugh or you know watch old videos or you know get yourself back get that spark back by doing something and then you know build off that build on those successes and build off those motivations I um, mean you'll be good it's easier said than done but you just gotta shift your focus uh, what I do when I feel down I listen to my favorite music Dude, that helps you so much just lay in my bed yep. just chill listen to some sick music and it will get me through the night at Delta HD if I'm skinny should I work out like a boss or should I eat a lot gain weight then work out like a boss um, you should do it at the same time you can eat a lot and gain weight and you should work out at the same time that's the best way to do it if you're skinny I started like that everyone does it's the best way you can do either one but um, it's best to do both at the same time at uh, true vision uh, prods at base fitness what workouts would you recommend for strengthening joints on um, many mainly shoulders um, and knees okay so that's specific um, you want to make sure that you warm up properly there's you know a little fluid and um, material around your joints that um, usually in the morning if you feel kind of stiff that that needs to be loosened up so you want to make that uh, protect your joints you want to make sure that when you work out you warm up properly um, number one and two um, you got to look up some exercises that don't necessarily because you do like big motion exercises you isolate the bigger part of the muscle but rarely do you exercise the um, the, the small tendons and uh, fibers around the joint so make sure you look at some exercises to do on that and that'll help protect the joint and not too much and not put too much Sorry. pressure on it. Yep. I'm at Face Fitness. What's a good way to find appropriate weight amounts for gym workouts? Start small, start light. Um, but once you get around to like doing a solid 10 to 15 reps, use that as your first set. Yes, and then I'll exactly. go from there. All right, next question is from Christian Hitch 99. Is it enough with the protein you get from food, or should people take something extra after working out? Uh, you can uh, definitely, definitely get it from uh, normal food. Um, when you can't or you don't have time to make food all the time, you can always uh, add something extra like a protein shake after your workout just because it's easy and it's fast. But you can definitely get it from food. Yes, just to add to that, it is not the same uh, process. What, what I mean by that is that it's healthier um, and better for your body to get it from foods than it is to get it from a shake. Um, just make sure you drink a lot of water when doing it with a shake. But um, yes. yes, you'll be fine. At Brian Brian 12 What's the fastest way to lose belly fat? Um, you gotta, you gotta burn fat. So it's gotta make sure that you are doing cardio. You gotta make sure you're not putting an extra amount of fat in your body. You wanna make sure you're burning, burning more fat than you're putting in, and make sure you're developing the muscle at the same time, so that the muscle shows through um, the stomach area. But you have to make sure you're burning. Yeah. Um, just to add, you, um, you can target specific areas you wanna lose fat. You're just gonna burn it in general. Yes. All right. Next question sure. is from Jared Fabia. Is a diet the biggest part of getting fit while working out or a thing for people to eat right? Uh, I'm not sure if I understand this question correctly, but if I do, I would say a diet is really uh, important when, um, when you're working out. Um, either you're getting, you want to gain muscle or you want to lose weight. The diet is key in that. Uh, obviously, you have to work out, but the diet takes a really big part of that um, as well. Thanks for watching Red Militia. Leave a like and subscribe. Um, same thing on next week. Ask more questions. Get even more specific. We're going to uh, brainstorm and make sure we're ready for you guys next week. All right.